What's up everyone out there in YouTube land? Uh, this is Charles aka Chachi Power here to do a uh, quick look for the Mattel, the MaddieCollector.com Voltron subscription Blue Lion. Uh, I'm not going to do too much with this since um, uh, Collection DX is doing a review and I've talked back and forth with Adam who is uh, doing the review about this figure and we seem to share the same issues uh, again more issues uh, with this figure um, so I'll let him do all the ranting about it I might rant myself here but um, yeah so this is the blue lion with uh, Princess Allura as you can see I have her outside of her little box and I have her regular head in there because I won't be pulling that out and I won't be pulling out the key either since this is not a really a full review but you'll see her head is right in there, her teeny teeny tiny head and you'll see I have the blue lion also out of the box now what I haven't done before is show you the boxes uh, so I'll go ahead and do that for you guys at least so the blue lion comes in this box you can see my reflection there uh, the weapon there you got the foil Voltron here with a little blue lion off to the side there and here is the back nothing too spectacular Blue Lion is piloted by Princess Lore. It's pretty much the same stuff you guys have seen in all the reviews for these guys so far. So, nothing new there. Then, we shall take a look at the box Princess Allura comes in. Uh, it's the same basic small box with a picture of her in the back. You'll notice, uh, keep in mind, this picture here uh, shows the Blue Lion, which it's supposed to. So, um, take a look at that because I will be referencing that later on in this video so just remember that picture and the hilt is included so the first two lines came with this part and then um, green line came with the part that goes after and the blue line came with this uh, it didn't go in order I don't have the green line piece here with me but um, yeah so this part would connect here I'm not going to connect them since it's permanent once you do that um, till I have the whole entire sword so again, box, foil, design up here, nice little anime drawing of Princess Allura there. So I do want to get uh, Princess Allura out of the way, since the figure, I'm not really big on action figures. I do like the fact that they made uh, action figures, but my whole thing is, uh, they should have made the action figures to have action figures, and then they should have just left the lions alone, or at least have a tiny little PVC figure that goes into the head of the lion, so that uh, the lion doesn't suck so much having a big gigantic cockpit which is not even anywhere near correct on anything um, but anyway and, and of course it does remind me of my most hated Voltron toy which is the Panache Place Voltron which is the only Voltron I think or yeah actually it is the only Voltron I do not own because I did not like it as a kid and I do not like it now uh, even as a kid I, I knew it sucked balls so but anyway so here's the Princess Allura okay I have her with her helmet on see if we can get up close if my camera decides to focus so we can take a look at how nice the visor is I do like the the way they've done the visors on these um, you know they got the key printed on there so pretty much she's pretty accurate um, don't have too many complaints aside from the usual complaints that uh, you know that you get from these figures uh, her feet are kinda small so it's a little hard to stand her and let me just grab the other guys here hopefully they won't fall and cause a big mess this video but here's Pidge in comparison to the princess here's Lance who I'm sure would go down the princess's pants if he could and uh, Hunk which has wobbly legs which make him rather difficult to stand let's put him there there you go and I didn't do this on purpose with the assembling order but that's the way it turned out which is uh, I guess cool now my figures turned out relatively well I don't have uh, two left legs or two right legs I don't have backwards legs uh, you know the paint apps are overall pretty well done there, there's slight sloppiness in the actual molding uh, Pidge does have the high uh, helmet thing there going I've seen some people's where the helmet is down so apparently these are glued on by hand and some people are not gluing them down all the way uh, again the gun does not come off of the princess uh, you know her boobs are not really that much bigger than the rest of the guys especially hunk if we turn her around um, 
she might as well be a guy. I mean, it's the same body style. If you take a look, there's nothing that really makes her feminine aside from the color of her suit and the slight boobage. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and move along and check out the Blue Lion. So let's get rid of these efforts here. And here is the Blue Lion. So uh, not much of a big departure from the Yellow Lion. It's pretty much the same thing, just blue. Uh, but um, I was trying to leave the rants for the Collection DX review, but, uh, you know, um, I guess I will. I will. I will. Uh, I'll, I'll let Adam go off on that because really this is just a quick look review but I do have the same issues the same issues that Adam's gonna go over I do have but let's just keep the issues to that video and just show you the figure I'll try and be as nice as possible uh, with the figure overall it's okay um, sometimes I look at this the proportion looks weird to me like the legs are or there's too much of a uh, space between the front and rear legs I don't know if it's just me or maybe the width back here is not as thin. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Something looks off, but it's still overall good. I mean, uh, aside from all the stuff people have been complaining about, it's actually it looks good. You know, uh, I don't have any complaints over the plastics. Um, you know, I don't have any horrible paint apps on this one. Nothing uh, really wrong with my actual lion. Uh, when compared to the issues I had in the other ones. I don't have any stray glue anywhere. I don't have actual scrapings of glue, that, uh, stray glue that droppings there. Um, I don't like this little blunt thing here on the nose. I think they could have just gotten rid of that. I don't know why that's there, but whatever. Uh, don't like the fact that the mouth doesn't close, but here you go, the mouth. Two notches there. Two ratchets, I should say. Then you got the ratchet neck, you got the ratcheting legs, and this. And I noticed the knees are somewhat harder to fold. The ratchets are a lot stronger, you can hear that, than on my other lions. And you got the button uh, release here for the legs. Uh, same butthole that the yellow lion has. Now, if we take a look back here, which is uh, going to be one of the complaints that Adam's going to have. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but uh, you'll see that opens, which allows Princess Allura to sit in there. Okay, take a look at the cockpit, see if you see anything I can possibly complain about, and I'm sure Adam will cover it too. Um, close that up. She fits in there nicely. You got the tail here. And I apologize for being off the screen a lot. I don't have a tripod anymore. And yeah, so that's pretty much really all I can say right now. Uh, I did want to show you guys um, the Blue Lion, but uh, stay tuned for the Collection DX review. Oh, and uh, how can I forget? This set does come with a Sven figure. I did do a uh, small video of the Sven figure alone. Might want to check that out. Uh, another part of my channel but uh, I will show you in this video in case you don't feel like watching another video so let's open this guy up comes in this mailer box thingy and this is the difference between him and all the other figures is that he is carded alright so instead of coming in a regular box like so which would make all of them match and you know I'm, I'm thinking they probably should have done something here to make it like you know put it in a shelf and then uh, number them, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. Uh, you know, but they didn't do anything like that. They just, whatever. But Sven comes in a blister pack. And I can understand why they do that. I'm sure they want to make it look vintage, you know, uh, or, or whatever. I don't know the, the thing behind it. Or to make it stand out from all the other ones, you know. Uh, to make it even more collectible, like you need to leave it in a box if you're like a serious collector. And it'll say there, adult collector. Uh, I don't know the reasoning, but uh, I would open it. I'm just contemplating on whether <laughs> I'm going to keep it or not, or whether it's even worth opening. I don't play with action figures. I don't need to really open it. I can just display him and then have the figures next to him. Whatever you want to do, if you like it. But uh, I was telling you uh, earlier in your video where um, I was telling you to remember the blue lion picture here, because what I want you to do is just compare... 
the blue lion that's on the Sven card and the blue lion that's on the Princess Alora box. You'll notice, number one, it's a different blue, and number two, it's not even a blue lion. It's the freaking red lion, just photoshopped blue. So apparently, someone was too lazy to just fix the picture, or there was deadlines that needed to be met when making the figure, and they didn't have the photo of the blue lion, which is probably BS because they've had prototypes forever. But, I don't know the, the thing with Mattel, I don't really know what they're doing. Uh, so I, I couldn't even tell you, but um, a lot of weird stuff Mattel's doing, a lot of weird stuff. But uh, yeah, so but that's what we got to deal with. They're the ones with the license, and hopefully they'll give it up soon and let somebody else take over and hopefully make something better. <coughs> Bondi. <coughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I guess that's it, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Make sure to check out Adam's videos on this because uh, if you want to hear some ranting. And, and just uh, overall displeasure over toys, uh, these in general. Um, yeah, make sure you check that out. But uh, for now, that's going to be it, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more. Coming soon. Bye.